Well, Bluefield State College just recently announced a number of measures they're taking to tackle COVID-19. Newswatch reporter Jacob Comer met with the president of Bluefield State to learn more. Recently, Bluefield State College made the decision to extend their spring break an extra week. This was to give their faculty and staff extra time to draft plans to combat the spread of COVID-19 in the state. Schools are a hot spot for the potential spread of disease, and with Governor Justice recently announcing that all public schools would close, Bluefield decided it was time to make some decisions of their own. Robin Capehart, president of Bluefield State College, has been leading the charge to make changes. Uh, yesterday, Governor Justice announced that we had the first case of uh, COVID-19 in West Virginia, and I think we knew eventually it was just a matter of time before uh, that was going to that was going to happen in the mountain state uh, so it's important for bluefield state to intensify its efforts to uh, to reduce the spread bluefield state just recently announced their plans to combat the spread of the coronavirus these plans aim to keep students and faculty safe during the pandemic the primary focus of uh, these measures today is to reduce the uh, density of personnel on both our bluefield and beckley campuses and minimize the amount of transactions and interactions that we have, which we think could, uh, that could possibly facilitate the transmission of the virus. The most ambitious of these plans is to move the majority of their classes online. Bluefield State already has 40% of their classes available online, but the transition to make even more classes online is taking extra effort. We had a couple of incidents of, uh, of faculty members who, uh, who, who weren't adept to, uh, to teaching online classes, and of course and we've spent the last few days of actually putting them through the process of being able to, uh, to, to offer to deliver their classes online. Bluefield State's spring break ends this week, and the majority of students will find themselves not returning to campus. Some classes, such as nursing clinicals, will still be in person, however. This has been Jacob Comer reporting for WOAY Newswatch. Bluefield is one of many colleges beginning to transfer their classes to an online format.